Hello, I'm Han Chiu-Deng, a PhD student at the University of Alberta. Today I'm going to present our work by directional frame interpolation for unsupervised video anomaly detection. This work will be posted on WCV 2023. First, I will introduce the unsupervised video anomaly detection problem. We feed normal data to train the model and expect the model to distinguish between normal and abnormal behavior during testing. We don't need to annotate the acquired data for training, so this is also treated as an unsupervised problem. Here is an example of video surveillance depicting the normal behavior of people walking on the street, where vehicles such as bicycles are not loaded, and therefore bicycling is an abnormal behavior. To facilitate detection of abnormal appearance and motion patterns in videos, we propose that the use of bidirectional frame interpolation as a novel paradigm for unsupervised video anomaly detection. Unlike existing anomaly detection approaches that synthesize the intermediate frame from neighboring sequences, our proposed method interpolates according to the adjacent frames. This is the overall framework of proposed method. The frame interpolation models consist consists of optical flow estimation and frame refinement for unsupervised anomaly detection of video sequences. The current frame is considered as an interpolation ticket and the interpolation error is considered as the anomaly degree. First, the frame frames from previous moment and from the later moment are fed into the optical flow estimation network. Then we, cal we calculate the optical flow at the intermediate moments and synthesize temporal frames. Both optical flow estimation and frame synthesis are performed by warping operations and are bidirectional measurements. As the temporal estimation is rough, the refinement network is deployed to restore the target frame and output the, out the final result. In addition, we introduce a dynamic memory module to enhance the interpolation error between, between the frames. This is the overview of the dynamic memory mechan mechanism. Given a feature map as a query, we calculate the similarity between it and the memory atoms. For each query, we select the top k atoms in terms of similarity. Finally, we calculate a weighted average value in terms of the matching probability of selected images as a addressing output. This is comparison with SOTA methods on UCSD PAD 2, CUHK Avenue, and Shine Attack Camps dataset in, in terms of area under the receiver operating characteristic curve. We also report the comparison of methods without the memory mechanism as baselines to demonstrate the advantages, advantages of bidirectional frame interpolation. We visualize the performance of this model when a vehicle enters the surveillance range, a high anomaly score is output. As well, the model also outputs a high anomaly score when a person enters the sidewalk on bicycle. In another scenario, someone running through campus can be judged to be abnormal behavior. Finally, we show the visualization of frame interpolation, anomaly heat map, and optical flow. Thank you.